Executive sponsorship uh, is an interesting concept in my mind because when I came up as a beleaguered IT manager, I say that tongue in cheek because I think there's a lot of beleaguered IT managers out in the nonprofit sector, but you know, it's important for that person to have the support and backing of the highest levels of leadership of an organization for the work they do, both as a person, but also in the context of a project. And how that plays itself out is, you know, we were just talking about the accidental techie phenomenon in another workshop, and, you know, if the executive leadership of an organization doesn't really sponsor the person, you know, that accidental techie who, by the way, holds institutional memory, who holds programmatic hopes and aspirations for your organization, and who's running your technology show, is going to feel undervalued as a person. So that's, you know, I look at the concept of executive sponsorship as sponsoring both the person and the project. And when you sponsor the project, that means that the executive leadership of the organization understands the tool that you're employing, why you're employing it, and provides enforcement across the organization for its use. And I think a good example there is, as we were just talking about in a, in a workshop, um, you know, why are other people across the organization still dropping things into Excel sheets when we've clearly put together you know, a Salesforce instance to hold that data for them. And you need to have some level of enforcement with that person. You need that person's manager on board to enforce their work. And you need the leadership of the organization to understand why you're using the tool and your board to understand why you're expending the money on the tool. And when those things line up, it contributes to successful executive sponsorship of a project. And when they fail, oftentimes what happens is, is the project gets abandoned or you know the desired output, whatever that might be, you know, and in my case it's always Salesforce or entering data into Salesforce, doesn't happen because people don't feel compelled to. Um, or it doesn't happen because the management team never bought into the project in the first place and feel that other tools may be more appropriate for what they're trying to seek but have never articulated that to the person implementing the tool. Um, so it's a real call out to the changing role of nonprofit executive leadership as it pertains to IT to say that this is now part of your fluency. And just as much as nonprofit leaders are expected to know human resources, to know finance, to know personal leadership, they are now expected to know IT and to be ignorant of that is failing in the job of nonprofit leadership in 2014. Amen. Yeah. <laughs>